plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Boom, selector and all that. Welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. All right, anyway, what we're gonna do is show you how to fit and hang this column radiator we've got here. Column radiators are usually heavy. They're lovely to look at. Their convection is like poor really, but they're much more of a modern aesthetic thing to have in your house. That doesn't mean I like to install them. Now there's a couple of complicating factors with this job here. Firstly, the customer actually wants this roughly here, okay? I can use this pipe here and put a new TRV on this, but the other pipe that's up that end is miles away, so we're gonna have to pull these floorboards up, and hopefully we'll be able to run our pipe up to the new position so it comes up nice and neatly. The other complicating factor is the walls. The walls here are like, pardon my French, dog shit. They are soft, they stink, and they don't taste very nice. So anyway, the first thing I'm gonna do is take this floorboard up and then take the old radiator out of the way. I've already drained the system down, I'm not an idiot, and I'm assuming if you know how to hang, or you want to know how to hang one of these, you know how to drain your heating system down. It's very similar to hang, how to hang a bathroom towel rail. There'll be a link to that video at the end of this one. And also we'll put a link on how to drain down a pressurised system. Let's right, go. It's going to be a bloody mental, isn't it? Oh! This is about to be And the cat that smells of bleed. So now we've got this floorboard up, we can see we've got our main flow return just here. We've got our feed into the radiator here and another one there. But now we've drained down, I can cut, probably cut this roughly about here. Then we can drill a new hole for our new pipe to come up. But I'm only going to do that when I've hung the new radiator and I know exactly where I want to go. So the next thing I want to do is just rip this radiator off. Oh my god! Oh, wheels on the bus go round and round and round and round and round and round. And the go round and round all day long. Now we've disconnected each end, I've also put a little bit of toilet roll in each of the holes to stop any black water getting out. So I should be able to just lift this off. Oh, lovely, and out of the way. Now all we need to do is remove our old radiator piece. So we're going to be putting a new TRV and set of valves on here. You'll have two spigots like this that will be what you put into the radiator. I always use Loctite on these and on most threads. It's better than PTFE. Now, you put your thumb on here and hold it like that and you get your first reel or two just round the front. And then you go up and then you cross, cross, wiggle it around a bit, cross, cross, keep wiggling it and always just crossing and crossing because that, that's what locks it in. It's basically a hemp and paste premix, really. That's probably the best way of describing it. And then just cut your last little bit off with the little cutter. Do this to both spigots and then you can wind both of those into the radiator and then we can look at actually what position we're going to be putting the radiator in. Just going to wind out the old bung here and then we've got this our new spigot to go in here. Get ourselves an adjustable and just nip that. Right, so now we're going to look at the difficult part of this job. Basically, these radiators hang on brackets that sit on the wall just like this, okay? They're very, very simple brackets, a couple of holes in each. This particular company have lovingly sent us uh, some brackets already. These are expanding plugs. Now, because these radiators are heavy, you need to make sure you get a decent anchorage in, especially one this size. So, so what I'll firstly do is I'll get my two bottom brackets and I'll pop them here like that. And then I'll know how far apart they're gonna be. That is 21.5. So I'll get my pencil out, about to give this girl a shout. Bracket width equals 21.5. For the next bit, you don't actually have to have the brackets in. Because we know the centres for the brackets are going to be the same as the centres for these pipes here. You just grab your tape, put that on the centre of that pipe there. Sometimes you need a little bit of help, someone to give you a hand, a helping hand. Run it down to the centre of this pipe here. That is 143.2. So then I can write height equals 143.2. Now much in the same way to the towel rail video and this one, you need to decide actually where you want to hang a radiator. Now because we already know our width of bracket, we can define the, the centre of the radiator on the wall, divide that by two and measure out from that and then we know where the widths of our brackets are going to be. When it comes to the height of the radiator, I always start from the bottom. For example, I want my radiator to be 20 centimetres off the floor. You know that your bracket is going to be roughly about a centimetre and a half above the bottom of the radiator. So you measure up 21.5 centimetres. 
Because we've already got a pipe here that we're going to be going on, we're kind of defined as to where we're going to put the radiator on with that. So what I know I need to do is I need to get my new radiator in line with that pipe down there. So I'm going to mock up where my radiator valve is. By that I mean just popping that in the side of the radiator. Then I know how far the width of that has to be away from that first bracket. Let's do that now. I know that my radiator valve is going to end there. So I also know that the centre of my bracket is here. So if I measure over from the centre of the pipe to the centre of my bracket, I get a measurement of 11.2. Here's the pipe I need to go on. I need my centre to be on there. So I pop that on there, I measure over 11.2. And Bob's your uncle. So what I do is get my spirit level. Make sure my bubble is okay. Put a small line just on there. So now we know where our bracket's going to be. The height I'm going to define, we're going to go at about 28. Grab my spirit level, a nice horizontal line on there. So now we know where our first bracket's going to be. Now we measure up from here, 143.2, all the way up. Make our mark there, make sure that our spirit level's in line so they're not out like that. Then all we need to do is measure across from here, 21.5 centimetres. Make sure that they're both level as well, and then check all your levels when you're finished. 143.2. All right, what you do is just make one little dot, tiniest dot, so no one, if you've got it slightly wrong, no one can see it. Then, we'll grab my spirit level, tiny dot, just a tiny dot, and maybe one look below it. Now I can see the dot we did a minute ago, let me actually put a dash here. So now we know that is in line with that one there. Let me make sure the mark we made earlier on is okay, get that level. Now we know that's where we can put our second bracket. Now we measure across from our line here, 21.5, so simple. We do the same at the bottom, as you're across from the bottom, 21.5 as well. Right, so we get our spirit level that sets the right height here. And just over the mark we've just made, draw a mark there. Then at the top the same, a little mark there. And then if you just want to make sure that you've got your marks right, just check it all out with your spirit level. And there we go, we've got our four marks. Now, I understand what we've just been over is long, arduous and pretty boring, but it's important that you check your measurements, make sure you've got a good spirit level, the one I've got is a Stabila, it's the beast, and then you just got to make sure you've done everything correct and right. Now, the way I've shown you just now is slightly strange because we were going off that earlier pipe, but most of you guys are going to have a centre line, okay, and you won't have your pipes there. So what you do then is you measure your centre line, get a horizontal across the bottom, measure out to your two bottom brackets, then follow your centre line up and then measure out to your two top brackets using that centre line. That's how you usually do it. But because we've got this pipe here, it's slightly more complicated. So now I'm going to show you how you actually mark up each one of these brackets and then we're going to drill the wall and hopefully this wall isn't going to fall to bits because as I told you, it's an absolute mare. So uh, we'll go from here and see how we get on. Boom! I'll pop that on the cross. Run this round there. Run that down there and then I'll do that to the next one just across here. And then do that to the two bottom ones. Right, once you march your holes, get your drill. And this is because it's such a horrible wall, I'm just going to go so easy here. I'm just going to pop my hand on here. And then I'll know whether I've gone deep enough for my plug. I need to go a tiny bit more. That's as far as I dare go. So what I'm going to use is the adjustable hole here, just in case. I'm just going to run this up tight. Oh, that's great. That is great. Not going anywhere. Right, so we've got them all in. They're all level, I've checked all their widths and everything, they look fine. So it's now time to hang our radiator up. Put those threads to it at the bottom there, slide it at the top, pop. There we go. Well, that looks lovely. Check our levels. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Yeah, that is an absolute beauty. So there we go, it's all done now. It's hanging on the wall beautifully, it's exactly where we wanted it, and it's nice and level. 
Uh, I'm going to pipe it up now, and I'm going to film that, and you can watch that in a second time lapse, okay? But very quickly, there's a cat out there eating, and I want to film it eating close up because I'm weird like that. Let's do that now. Come on, eat your dinner. Right, so there we go, piped up. I'm gonna fill it up now. There's not gonna be any leaks because I'm amazing. I hope you've enjoyed today's plumberparts.co.uk video. If you've got any more questions, or you think we've done something wrong or something like that, let us know in the comments. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook, as you know. So remember, if you've got any questions, ask us and we will hopefully answer them in Ask the Plumber for you. I hope you've enjoyed today's plumberparts.co.uk video. I hope you're gonna come back and watch some more. I hope you like Colin Radiators and you think they're amazing. And I hope that you have a lovely weekend if it is the weekend when we actually do this so whatever weekend comes up after this i hope you have a lovely one yeah and i hope it doesn't rain i'll feed the air to people hold tight yeah, brackets, brackets on the so bottom make sure it's straight between the two well, here, so this, this time, time. honestreviews and advice